It is now time for your Metrotex MLS Insights. Hello! I'm going to be showing you a walk through the new client portal, helping your clients better understand how they can do some of their own searches, review messages, and even save properties as favorites that they would really like to see. Now let's start at the top. You'll notice I have a banner that is set up, also known as a header, which has my picture, contact information, and details. You can have this information updated with inside of MLS under My Information, which is found under My Matrix. Please make sure you have this updated properly, especially if you ever change brokerages, because it does not update on its own. You must come and make those changes. Okay. Now, right below our header, we have multiple options. Find a home, my searches, favorites, messages, and my agent. I'm going to start from the right-hand side and work my way to the left. So let's go to my agent. Now, my agent is your portal profile. Again, this can be changed and updated on Matrix under my Matrix, my information, and your portal profile. Now, if you need further assistance, feel free to call MLS for us to walk you through this process. Now, let me show you what they can see on My Agent. I have my company logo, as well as a section called About Me. Now, this gives me the ability to tell them any information I would like. I made this all about me, so they could get a little bit more background about who I am. Other agents I've seen have used this to talk about their company, maybe any awards that they've received, or even if they're a top producer, those are things you want to share with your clients. Now below our logo and information, you will notice that I have a little video for them to see and review, as well as some basic contact information of how it would like to be reached. Now moving from my agent, they then see messages. Now, messages are all the auto emails or direct emails that you have sent to your client. They can see the date and time, the name of the email that was submitted, and over to the far right, they see the contents. Now, on contents, it will tell them how many of these were new and how many were updated. Now, the reason that's really important to know is Maybe they open their email today and they see a listing that they have seen before. Well, that falls under updated. An updated listing will be sent to them again if there's ever a price change or maybe it recently came back on the market. They can always review what listings they have received by simply clicking on this content and it will then take them directly to that particular property. Now, this one has recently sold, so it's no longer available at this time. So they do want to make sure they are reviewing that status. Because once a listing has gone to a new status, it will show that current in their portal. Now, also under messages, they have the ability to see property notes. Now, property notes are any messages they have sent to you in reference to a particular listing they would like to see or maybe just know more information about. Every single thing listed here is a note back and forth between the client and me, the agent. I can also show you that if they simply click add note, they can send you another message about that listing. Now, that is all they can see under messages. So messages are all your direct and auto emails and then property notes are those notes they send to you on a particular property. Now, continuing moving on, they then have an option for favorites. Now, favorites are listings that they have fell in love with or maybe they are not quite sure they are putting it in as a possibility or they just downright do not like it so they are discarding it. Notice there's three tabs, favorites, possibilities, and a discarded list. Any property that they no longer are interested in, especially if it is a favorite or possibility, they need to make sure they clean this up. Otherwise, it will continue to stay piled up with properties they no longer would like to see. 
over here to the right where they see the little heart. Let's say they want to take it out of their favorites and they want to discard it. They simply click the heart and change the information to discard listing. And that will then take it out of their favorite list. Now from favorites they then have an option for my searches. Now my searches has two boxes here on the screen. First is my searches. Those are any searches your client has created all on their own. They have the ability to do their own searches, which is nice, that gives them access to do some searching in the MLS all on their own. If they would like to remove a search they have created, over here to the right they simply click the little trash can and it will let them permanently delete it. Now if they would like to see what criteria that they set up for that search, there's a down, over, down arrow on the right. When they click it, it will then show them the criteria that was set. That also goes for these at the bottom. Now these are my agent searches. Those are any that the agent themselves has created for the client and sent over. They can also check to see what criteria you set up for their search by showing their criteria by clicking the down arrow. Now that is my searches. The last option they have is called find a home. Now on Find a Home they have a lot of options so I'm going to go over first how they can sort and view the properties. Over here on the right hand side of the screen they have the sorting box allowing them to see newest first, price, beds, square footage, or year built. My suggestion is keeping it as newest first that way they always have the most recent at the top of their list. Okay. Now from the right of our sorting option, they can see different views. Right now we're in a map view. The map is on the left hand side of the screen and the listings are showing on the right. The next icon is a list view. It changes them in an up and down list for them to quickly see. Now the next icon is a gallery view, putting it into boxes for them to quickly see the information. Now our three little dots give them even more displays. They can see a portal full property view which actually allows them to see the information all the way down to the details. There's also a place for them to send you a note, see all the pictures they're mapping, all the way down to the very bottom. Some of the property info, features, and so forth. Now the last two options are portal single line. Now this looks familiar to us in MLS. This is what we see when we actually send them out the first time. And last but not least is a customer full view. This is like our printouts that we would particularly provide to them or send in an email. Okay. Now outside of the sorting options and the views, they also can do even more. Over here on the right where we see our columns of listings, I want you to notice there's a heart right there in the right hand corner. This is how they save a listing as a favorite possibility or they discard it. They simply click the little heart and then they can choose which option they would like. Now I do suggest if they do not like the property encourage them to discard it. That way it takes them out of this list for them to no longer see it. Now over here on the left hand side they have a map. They have several things they can do on a map. First is they have a map tools. Map tools has two options points of interest and boundaries. Now points of interest are different uh, properties or business types that are around in a particular area. If they see this list and notice my whole list is highlighted in red. That means I must zoom in closer to select these features. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and you must zoom in fairly close for this to work. So I'm going to get as close as I possibly can. Zoom in just a little bit closer and there we go. Now I can select what things I would like to see, what's around my area. So I'm just going to select a handful of, of options and you'll notice that little icons are now populating on the map. 
If they click on an icon, it will tell them the name of the business and the address so they know exactly what that is. So that is their points of interest. Now, underneath that, they have what's called boundaries. This gives them the ability to see where particular cities, zip codes, counties, unified school districts, that's a big one, all the way down to even areas and schools. So let's take a look at the unified school district. Look at what happened to my screen. Now I know all of this area is Dallas Independent School District. Now I want you to notice if I zoom out a little bit and my zoom in and zoom out options are the plus and minus sign in the top right corner. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more so we can see a larger view of my map. Now I can clearly see by moving my mouth my mouse around I can now see the borders of all these different ISDs. That's very useful information to your clients. They can do this for lots of options. County is another one that they can have a easy view to see which county a property would fall under. Okay. Now that is boundaries and your points of interest. Okay. Now the last option they can do on the map is over here on the right. They can draw or they can use drive time. Now let me show you how draw works. Draw is actually a free draw where they can go anywhere on their map. They simply click and hold their click down and they can draw any kind of weird shape they want. They just have to simply connect it. Now once it does, it will then provide them listings over on the right of anything that falls within this designated shape. If they want to remove it, they simply click the clear button over here on the right corner and they have cleared their shape and can restart a new one. Now, they also have what's called drive time. This allows them to enter a location and find out how long it's going to take them to get to a particular area and see the basically area of that map of properties they could potentially look into. So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to enter a location here. And I'm basing this on my work. So I want to be able to find a property that's within a 15 or 30 minute window that I can actually move to. Because I don't want to be too far away from my work area. I want to be able to drive to here. I want to arrive by 8 a.m. and I want to drive no more than 30 minutes. Now I'm going to simply click add. Now you're going to see here in just a second my map and you're going to notice a shape has been built. Now it's stating that from this dot notice that is my address I entered. If I hover over it I can also delete it or change the information. Now it's stating that from this little dot everywhere you see all the way to the outline I can reach within 30 minutes. I will give you a notation. This does not account for traffic. So if they want to arrive within 30 minutes I would actually suggest they change their drive time info to arrive within a 15 minute window time frame and that will make their shape a lot smaller which is more accurate to what they could actually get to within a 30 minute time frame. So that is their options right there. Drive time and drawing their own shapes. The last option I want to show you on the map is they have a view. They have an option to choose roadmap, satellite, hybrid, and terrain. My suggestion would be to keep it as roadmap. It is the most simplified uh, map view and makes it the most clear and easy to read. Now the last thing I'm going to show you on your clients portal is how do they perform their own searches and save them. If you notice right here at the top it says start a new search. So I'm going to click start a new search and choose some information. I want residential listings that are single family. Let's say I want a minimum of three beds. I want a minimum of 
two baths. And that is all the information I'm going to enter at this time. I just want to see what all is out there and available. I'm now going to click apply. It's going to calculate and find those properties and you'll notice all those listings it found in this shape. And on the right are the listings in order. Now if they want to save this as a search they can always come back to. They go right back up to the top, click save this search. I'm going to call it my drive time area and save. Now as soon as they do that I want to point out that it will automatically show up under my searches right there drive time area and again if they ever want to remove it they simply delete over to the right. Now that is everything your clients have access to in their portal and hopefully this will explain a little bit more in detail to that on how to properly use it. And that was your Metrotex MLS Insights.